watching Edupedia world videos. In this session we will understand about the chart of accounts. After you have defined your GL account code, you can classify each GL account as either title or an active account. An active account contains posting of transaction, a title account groups together all the active accounts below it. For an active account to be summarized as title level, in financial reporting it must be assigned according in chart of accounts hierarchy. You can differentiate title and active accounts by their text colors. Title account appears in blue, active accounts appear either in green or black. Green accounts are control accounts or accounts that have been defined as default GL accounts for automatic posting of transaction within SAP Business One. Black accounts are those accounts that have neither been selected in GL account determination and nor are control accounts. Let us understand about the fields of chart of account. GL account enter an alphabetic code up to 15 characters that can be letters, numbers or a combination of both for the account. You can specify an account name up to 100 characters. You can enter an external code that is an additional code for sorting purpose. The additional code is informational only and allows you to refine queries for customized reports. There is a currency option. The account currency is the currency in which all the journal entries for that account are recorded. That means if an account currency is defined as dollar then all the currency that will be recorded in the journal entries for that account will be recorded in dollars alone. By default, the currency is defined as all currencies. In an all currency account, transaction can be executed in a foreign currency without the account's foreign currency's balance having any significance. Therefore, an account can accept general entries in different currencies as well. Continuing with chart of accounts and the fields, let us understand few more fields. There is a confidential account that you can define. The accounts that are used as confidential that are used for preventing unauthorized users from using them or viewing their activities in the SAP Business One. Then there are levels of accounts. You can define the level of account. Level 1 is the draw level. So you cannot define an account as a title or level 1. Second level to level 4 are either titles or accounts. Only an active account can be defined at the level 5. The number of levels in your chart of account may depend on the localization and the common business scenario. Balance. The account balance displayed in the currency defined for the account after various JEs have been recorded. SAP Business One Accounts Segmentation you can see level 1 is drawer, the asset. Level 2 is the current asset that is in dark blue. Level 3 is in light blue that is my cash equity. Level 4 is the active accounts that are in green. You can have three choices when setting up the chart of account in SAP Business One. You can use pre-deferred chart of account, import a pre-existing chart of account, or you can create a chart of account on your own altogether. There are some mandatory settings in SAP Business One chart of account. The organization of chart of accounts follows GAAP, which is known as Generally Accepted Accounting Practices, in which there is a separate drawer for accounts representing assets, liabilities, equity, revenues, cost of sales, expenses financing and other revenues and expenses. These drawers which have been defined by SAP Business One and cannot be changed. Organize your accounts by level in a logical fashion appropriate for financial accounting and reporting purposes. In chart of account window, SAP Business One asks you to characterize every GL account as either a title account or an active account.
and identify its level because only active accounts can be posted in SAP Business One as we have seen already in the last slide. In reports, a title account summarizes all balances of each active account below it. Account segmentation. This is the window from SAP Business One. You can use this window to define account segments. Account segmentation has a setup. You can name the specify an alphanumeric name up to 100 characters for segment. SAP Business One provides you with four predefined segments. If required, you can rename these segments or define additional one as well. Size specify the segment size in characters. Maximum size can be 20 characters. You can change the predefined size of the predefined segments. Type select can be either alphanumeric or numeric. To summarize, cost accounting versus accounting segmentation and what is mandatory within SAP Business One chart of accounts, example of account segment and tips on setting them up. Cost accounting versus accounting segmentation. In many countries, cost accounting is used to track the various cost and profit centers of business. Using cost accounting, you can keep check on departments, divisions, or various geographies, treating them separate entities. You can find how much spending or revenue is being involved for various business purposes. In Europe and other parts of the world, segmented chart of accounts are not considered generally accepted accounting practices that is GAAP cost accounting that is prevalent method is used however account segmentation often serves the same purpose and allows you to analyze profits and expenses by business units in much way that is similar because of the general acceptance of account segmentation cost accounting is rarely used by companies that are located in US Thank you.